Uh, we've got a new camera that Rilof's playing with, absolutely loves it. And uh, just gonna go over some, some quick tips that'll help you uh, in the tool. So the first thing I wanna go over is uh, the basic navigation. So we see a lot of people make uh, videos and they make some really cool things with Montego. And then when they're navigating the graph, it's almost a painful process because they're using the scroll bars. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open an example graph here. Uh, so I'm gonna open the example graph. And basically what people will do is they'll have a graph like this, they'll zoom in. So they'll probably zoom in with the mouse. Uh, people generally do that, but then they'll navigate with, the, with these scroll bars. And you can see it's quite clunky to kind of navigate where you wanna go. So the idea is that when using the tool, you should probably always have a mouse. Just because the way that the user interface works, this makes it a lot easier. So for example, zooming in and out, so scroll out, zoom out, scroll in to zoom in. Then if you wanna to navigate to something in the graph, what you can do is you can just use a uh, right mouse click and hold it down and pan around the graph. So here if I wanted to go left, hold down right mouse click and now I can move the graph. And you can see I'm just dragging it around and now I can navigate to you know whatever entities I'm looking for and I can zoom out and I can see the, the detailed view of that or I can zoom right back in and I can say I'm interested in this specific entity or you know navigate to one of the others. And that just makes the whole experience a lot better. Um, it makes it much easier to show people and to demonstrate something uh, as well as using the tool in general. And then there's a couple of quick shortcuts for navigating. So if you've got an entity, um, if you want to see your entire graph first, what you can do is you can use Control Q on Windows or Command Q on uh, Mac and that'll zoom out to give you the entire graph on the screen. So if I had a smaller graph than this, uh, let's say I just had a couple of these entities, so I'm just going to copy these to a, to a new graph and I was zoomed in here and I wanted to see everything. What I could do is just press Control Q, and now I've got everything on the screen. So now it's a nice way to, to look at that. Uh, then additionally, if you've got something selected, um, so either one entity or a bunch of them, so let's say I've got this entity selected, and I wanted to zoom into it, I can just use Control W, or on Mac, obviously, uh, Command W, and that'll get me right into that entity, and it'll center it on the graph. So that's just a nice way for you to do navigation, um, and it makes using the tool just infinitely better. So the next thing that we want to show is uh, multi-linking. So a lot of the time people have a bunch of entities and they want to link it into an individual one. Specifically with when they're working with offline data, they want to say, okay, well, let's say they've got an individual and he's got a whole bunch of properties uh, where they've got a domain and they found out something about it through an offline source or they've got it over email or something and they want to include it in their graph. Uh, so what you can do is you can say, I'm just going to drag on a domain here and I'm going to say, for example, I've got uh, three MX records and instead of having to drag a link to each one of them, so instead of me having to do this and then select all the properties for each one of them, what I can do is I can multi-link them. So um, the way to do this is I select all the ones that I want to link to, and then when I drag, um, when I drag a link from these, so if I drag it from there to these three, you'll see that it automatically creates all three of them. Right, and I can give that a label and say, let's say found via friend, okay? And what I can then do is I can say, okay, well, actually, I don't want them to go from this domain to these MX records. I can say that actually I want them to go from the MX record to the domain. So the easiest way to do this is to select the links. Uh, you can either do it, you would have seen in one of the other videos, is by changing the selection mode to link mode. But the easiest way and the way that we often do it is you just hold down control uh, or command. And if I drag a box around the links, you'll see that they're all uh, selected. And then you'll see um, under the investigate tab, you'll see a button that says reverse links. So if I click on that, now you'll see all the links are pointing into my domain. And that's the easiest way that you can do multiple linking. So if you need to link lots of data to a single entity rather than creating each link. Uh, so this is one of the few videos we have where I'm not actually sitting behind a computer. Um, we just want to talk about the new things that we're going to be working towards this year. So one of our primary goals is that we'll be working with integrators and integrating with data. So we're looking to build a whole new uh, development server where essentially uh, your developers and your team can build something where when you give it to your clients or uh, the people that are going to be using it, they can pull down an entire config of entities, sets, transforms, machines, um, essentially the entire package. And we're going to try and make that as simple as possible so that people can start using Multigo um, easily and quickly with their own data and uh, their own resources and sort of create a whole solution around that. The next section that we're working on uh, is what's known as collaboration. It's going to provide a way for multiple analysts to work on the same graph at the same time and be able to update it. Um, it's a really nice 
method of incorporating your whole team into a single investigation. And we're going to be using um, Jabba as the primary means of transportation. And we're going to have a whole lot of encryption on that to make sure that it's secure. And essentially, it's going to give you a way that your entire team, uh, even, if they're, even if they're based in different locations, can work on a single graph and have a single investigation going and provide their different bits of insight onto a single investigation. So this year again, we're going to be doing our training at Black Hat Vegas. Uh, we've got a fantastic new open source intelligence course. So we're going to be using the new tool, uh, be going over all the new features, everything that we've built in, hopefully including collaboration. And the course isn't only about Multigo. In fact, it's mostly about uh, open source intelligence and how to do a proper open source investigation. So we're going to be covering uh, two main sections. So basically, if you're looking at infrastructure, how domains are linked, um, how to look up if you're looking at an organization on an infrastructure level, and then of course people. So we're going to look at how the, and how the two bridge together. Uh, we're really excited about it and uh, we've had great reviews from the past couple of years and we hope to see you guys there. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for coming to the dairy. Uh, we hope you appreciate the sound of cows and birds, trees, um, and uh, the great black swan that chased us around. Cheers.